Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can set your custom ringtone sound or a notification sound on your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10e or the S10 Plus. Now with a custom uh, sound, you can download any sound that you like in any format, whether it's an MP3 or any other audio file. Um, all you have to do is just to go to some website, download your favorite songs and it will download to your phone. Now the first thing that you want to do is to locate the song where it is. So if you swipe up from the home screen, then go to the Samsung folder and open up My Files. My Files is a file manager. It allows you to move files around your 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 phone. So it allows you to manage and uh, copy and paste file from one folder to another folder. So in here, when you are downloading uh, music. So I'm just going back to the root folder. So this is the root folder of my files. Now the easiest way to find um, the files that you have downloaded on your phone is to go to audio uh, albums or folder. And here, go to downloads. And it will quickly tell you where the sound file is located. So in here it is in a download folder. Otherwise, when you go back to the root directory of my files, you can also go down to internal storage. And it could be in DSIM. It could be in download folder, otherwise you can uh, try to find it in music folder. So it could be in one of these folder. And in here, while you locate the song, tap and hold onto it. And it will become selected. Then at the top here, you can tap on the menu key. So it's now they move it down here. So down here there is a copy button. So you tap on copy and it is now copy. And then you go back up here so to um, add it to the ringtone you want to uh, go to the ringtone folder so in here is the ringtone folder so I tap in here and then tap copy here and it will copy this songs this mp3 song spring in my step to the ringtones folder now when we're going to go back here again so we're going to go back to my files and then go to internal storage then you want to go down and tap on notifications. So these are the for the notifications. So in here you can see I have already copied that songs in here. If you have not, you can also copy it. So I'm going to delete and I will show you how you can copy the file into the notification notifications folder. So in here I'm going to go down and I'm going to go back to the root folder. Then I tap on audio download and I'm going to copy this file here so I tap and hold then tap on copy you can also move the file if you want to move them and then I'll tap on back up here then I tap on back and I go to internal storage and I go down then tap on notifications folder and then we're going to paste it in here so paste here so that song is now paste here so let's see now that we have the the music file or the song file or the audio file in the ringtones folder and the notifications folder and here's we're going to how we can uh, customize the songs so i'm going to swipe down from the top and tap on settings and then from here we're going to go to sound so sounds and vibrations and to change the ringtone we tap on that and then you can see here down here it got spring in my steps Now also, so in here also you can uh, tap on the add button at the top here. This is another way how you can do it. So once you tap on the add button, it will show you all the songs available on your phone. So you can see there is tracks down here. You can tap on albums, artists or folder. So you can browse by the folder as well. And then if you tap on download and there is the song there. And that will add it and then tap on the done button so there are a few different ways how you can do it you can either add tap on the add button at the top here next to the ringtone or you can manually copy the files into the ringtones folder or the notification folder okay now we go to the notifications so i'm going to tap on back and then tap on notifications and in here you can see there are notifications so i'm going to tap back here sorry so we go back to sound again and then go down to notification sounds so it's in here and we're going to see you're going to see there is uh, in notification sound there is no plus button so you need to actually copy the files into that uh, notifications folder in uh, my file 
and you can see down here that song now becomes available in the list and you can select so whenever you receive a notification that song or that audio file will be will play instead of the one from the default list so that is the ringtones and uh, notific notification sound so I'm um, suppose we can go into uh, apps as well so we can go into apps in here apps and then we can go down to the different kind of apps so let's say um, uh, messenger so for example email let's go into emails and notifications so just trying to see if we can set up um, notification sound for the different apps so I'm just trying to find where it is maybe we have to do back at that um, sound section so in here sound So it's not in here, so I'll, I'll see where we can f uh, set up an individual um, uh, sound for the app. Okay, in order for us to set a custom sound for each individual app, this will depend on that app, whether that app supports or allow you to set a custom sound or not. Otherwise, it will use a global default notification sound. For example, if I tap on photos here, you can see there is no notification sounds, which I can change. But if I tap on Reddit right here on the Reddit app, I can actually set uh, a custom sound. So if I tap on notifications, so not in there. Let me see where it is. So it's somewhere in here. So I'm just going to check it again. in notifications so it's in notifications here as you can see if I tap on not notifications so where is it so it's in um, notification sounds so I choose sound and then got down here sound and then you can choose a different kind of sound So this one here got sound, if we go to uh, photos, and then if we go to notifications, there's no sound in here as you can see, so this depends on a different kind of apps. Uh, some apps does not support uh, sound, and you cannot set a custom sound for that app. Okay, now if we go to contacts, so if we uh, swipe up and then tap on contacts, we can also set a custom sound for the different contacts, so in here, for this particular contact, you can see I can uh, tap on the menu key and then we can try to see if we can set a, diff a custom sound for the contacts. So I'm going to tap on edit and then tap on view more and then ringtone. See down here you can see I can tap on ringtone and here this will allow me to set a custom contact. Uh, so, um, a custom sound for the different contacts. So I tap on the loud, and here again I can choose a different sound for the different contact. And that is for the ringtone. So whenever that person calls you, it will play that special customized sounds for that contact. And you need to tap on save. Now, if you want to set a custom sound for a text message, then what you want to do is to uh, launch the text message. And once you started a text message, you can tap on that uh, text message. So you, I think you just tap and hold onto that. And then notifications. So that's just turn off notifications. So I just go back here. The menu charge have changed quite a bit. So I'm just going to go into that conversations. Sorry. So I need to open up that conversations and then tap on the menu key up here. And then tap on custom notifications and in here you can tap on sound and that will allow you to set a custom sound for that conversation so that um, for that custom conversation which includes the person the contact that is in that conversations and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos